go. All right, this is it. Next one wins. Thanks for explaining the rules, Brad. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay, you got this. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Bottoms up. Oh, God, I love milk pong. <laughs> Back to work, you guys. This is a newspaper, not a frat house. But Andy, milk pong is an end of the year tradition. And besides, we are all finished with our work. Well, I'm not. Which is why I'm going to be employing a little technique I like to call delegation. <laughs> what? That somehow makes it sound worse. As you all may know, the editor's banquet is coming up. It'll be a hoot and all that jazz, but what you may not know is that Aaron and Steve will be planning it. Good luck, you guys. Andy, you're telling us this now? The banquet is tonight. Guys, stop with all this yelling. The negative energy is bad for our health. Hello? Andy, it's been too long. <laughs> really has. How are you? How's Ashley? Isaac? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, Always a comedian now, weren't you? All right, look, Andy, I need a favor, nothing huge. Maybe slightly large, I don't really know the size. Cut the act, would you? Thank God. Look, I know I'm not technically invited to the banquet, but could I Skype in and show off the new trailer for my film? Only if you hang up right now. Boink. It's just a... What's a Skype? Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh, the milk. Okay. Oh, the milk. Oh, the milk, Steve. Oh, no! Oh, oh, God! Good work, Brad. Arthur, saddle up. Has anybody seen Nora? Nora Monroy, Campus News Network. How was that? Uh, could I run it one more time? Last one, Monroy. I told Isaac I'd help him finish his trailer at 11.30. Crap, what time is it? Um... 11.30. Crap! Many will be called. Few will be chosen. Nice of you to join us, Nora. It never gets old. Brad's upset now that he actually has to do work since I'm splitting my time between CNN and The Daily. It's been... stressful. But I guess it's worth it to build up my resume. Now these glorious this, however, makes me father, think otherwise. And your father, and your father's father before him! Everything comes down to this, to decide which of you three juniors will become the next editor-in-chief of the University Daily! And now, to these three challengers! Wah! Is he coming back? <laughs> I call this Andy's four le egg and race. To be a good editor in chief, you have to know how to work with others. Since, Since when? when? You'll each be given an egg. Goal, don't break the egg. And make it over there with the egg without breaking it. Over there. Go! Uh. I have to say, I'm surprised you came. I wasn't sure you would after Ashley found out about us and broke up with me. Why are we talking about this again? I told you I want to keep my personal and professional lives separate. The fact that there was anything more than professional between the two of us demonstrates a lack of judgment on my part, and it will not happen again. You sure know how to make a guy feel good. This is stupid. Uh, someone's not pulling their weight. I'm trying! Uh, 
You know, I have picked up your slack for years now. It doesn't feel so good, does it? No, it doesn't. You know, I finally get you to like me. You go ahead and do this to me. <laughs> oh, do this to you. I wanted a new experience for me. You know, Andy hasn't taught me much, but he's taught me this. Traitors don't get to be editor-in-chief. <sighs> the hell, Nora! <sighs> The woman! Woo! <sighs> the last time I was on the ground covered in mud, I was not this sober. Wow. I agree, nothing but good vibes in here. So I was thinking we could call it Nature Conquers All. We could have the palm frond photo booth over there, the hemp disco ball up there, and the kale bar over here. A hemp disco ball? How does that even work? Would it even be shiny? Why would it have to be shiny? Ugh. Look, how about Roaring Twenties? You know, chandeliers, flappers, drinks. Non-alcoholic, of course. Prohibition, my dear. I've already bought all the decorations. Clearly, we are already in too deep with this Roaring Twenties theme. Please. <sighs> all right, fine. We'll make some sort of hybrid between the two, like, Nature conquers all in the Roaring Twenties. I dig it. Doesn't take much. This means I can show you the star attraction. Meet Sunny the Snake. Oh, she's missing. The next challenge, Andy's Juice Drink Off. An editor-in-chief must have endurance. So, uh, just drink as much juice as you can in 30 seconds. Go! Oh, God, this is toxic. Fifteen seconds left. Let's have children. Time. Oh. Brad yes. Wins. yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> Cut! Alright guys, we're gonna do it one more time. This time correctly. Okay, your line is, it's time to pull some weeds. And hurry it up. My arms are getting tired. Okay, take 21. And action! Wait, do I say it now? You have got to be kidding me! All right, come on, come on. Get him next time, boss. Take 22. Action. It's time to smoke weed. <laughs> Every editor-in-chief needs balls. Hence the final challenge, Andy's Balls of Fury. Assert yourselves. Don't be afraid, be an editor. I'm not gonna let you win this, Nora. Ugh. Sports! <sighs> You're gonna have to try better than that, Brad, if you wanna win. Sports? Does saying that actually help? I mean, really? I just can't believe you would go to CNN. Sports! <sighs> ah. Oh! Uh, hey, Arthur, what the hell? Uh, uh, you okay? Arthur wins! Kate, who's the overall champion? It's a three-way tie. Are you kidding? Seriously, Andy, what is wrong with you? In what world is this an acceptable way to choose your replacement? My world. Your world, of course. You're pathetic, Andy. Behind me. Behind me. Are you still interested in the daily? Why? I have with me a signed document from Andy stating his interest in joining with CNN. All you have to do is give the form to pick it. Mm. 
Well, this is clearly a forged signature. Besides, you were completely against this idea just a few months ago. Look, you weren't the only one who was underappreciated by Andy. <laughs> I quit the Daily a long time ago. <laughs> to expand your portfolio? CNN has been a better fit for me. I know you think you found your true passion in broadcast news, but I've read your articles. I've seen your broadcasts. Clearly, your heart lies in print journalism, like any traditionalist. You think you know me so well, Ash- Look, let's just make this official. We already know that with Andy in charge, he's going to make Brad the next editor-in-chief, and we've seen what Andy can do to what was once a great paper. Do you seriously not care what happens to a publication you've dedicated almost two years of your life to? Think it over. Wait. Do you want this? It's gross. Ew. 